Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful animation. Create one rectangle and remove the border and add a radius to 10. Then take the rectangle outside the artboard and add the drop shadow. Change the value to minus 10, then opacity to 8. Then use the repeated grid. If you change the repeated grid value to minus 280, then increase the grid. If you increase the grid, you could see that that card become a star group. Then simply drag your image into the cards. Then unrepeat the grid and group it again. And take it into the artboard and align to the top. Then duplicate the artboard, select the first image and drag into bottom of the artboard. Then turn on the 3D transform. Then you could change the value to 60. The moment you change the value, you could see your image get transformed. Then simply add the prototype, trigger is tab, type is auto animate. Easy in out at one second. Then check the prototype, it's whether it's working. It's working. So the same way I'm gonna create for all other artboards. In the second artboard, if you drag into the second image in the bottom you could see the first image getting overlapped it's because of the z value simply you can increase the z value into 1 then it will automatically rearrange in the position so the same way you can duplicate the third output and the third image so in the case we already have the second image in a z value 1 we need to increase the third image value into 3 so in the way, you can create a multiple artboard and incrementing the Z value. Then simply prototype to all the artboard. Just check how it works. Since we are moving the card into below, so we can have all other top into little down, so we can get some smooth transition effect. Then simply duplicate the artboard for the detail page. I'm just taking that image and increasing the radius then I'm adding the few element like icons lyrics and close button and so on
then prototype it again close button back and main image click and open like that then i thought of adding some interactive element so i decided to use lotte animation you could download any json file from here so in my case i'm just downloading that music waves then i'm simply adding into my design and make sure it's plays automatically and loop is as turned on cross checking if everything is working or not again that's it guys it's working perfect thank you